I don't know, like, that's just the freedom of it all, you know? It's like, there's like freedom in that tragedy. As weird as it sounds, it's like, when I broke up with her when I was 19 in this apartment. Yeah. I felt so fucking lost, but I also, I felt a sense of freedom because like the chains of their relationship had been broken too. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. And I felt the same way every time I would like quit a job and just like that, that level of freedom where it's like a tragedy it's like your income stops or like the relationship stops or like whatever i just feel like there's there's some there's like this beauty in tragic things that you have to go through first yeah man <coughs> <coughs> but i was just talking about pablo was just telling me about how when he moved out or when i moved out of this apartment he was helping me move furniture and I remember actually there was one day I came home I was 19 by the way so this was nine years ago um and I came home and my ex like got the rest of her stuff because I came home and the apartment was like borderline empty um and I just remember like having a ton of like first time like really hard hitting emotions hitting me um, in that situation where you know she wasn't in my life anymore but it took a long time to grow from that like this is what people don't realize is like you know there's like a lot of stuff that happened that now I'm able to vocalize, but when you're in it, it's no joke, you know? Like, when you're living off fucking 50 bucks a week or 100 bucks a week, whatever the fuck it is, you know, you don't come from money and you're just like trying to figure it the fuck out. And you feel very, as a young man, you feel very confused about the world. You don't understand things and you're frustrated about it you know and that's how i felt that's how i felt as a, as a teenager a 19 year old frustrated because i didn't understand the world you know and uh i remember remember i went to move i went to live with my mom right up the street actually yeah right here my mom moved right up the street and this is actually it's crazy because my mom moved right up the street sh shortly before me and my ex broke up. But me and my family, we lived in like a really nice house when I was a kid. So like I lived, I lived like, weird thing about me is that I didn't like grow up poor. Like I had like a good, like a decent upbringing, you know? I was like middle class. <laughs> You know, we'd go to the mall every weekend. Fridge was always, pretty much always full up until a certain point. You know? Um, and it's, you know, it's not about blaming anyone at all, actually, at this point, because everything happened how it was supposed to happen. Like, I'm, I'm, if I can say that I wish anything was different, then I would have to also, at the same time, wish that my life was different now because that the outcome would be different but i don't wish for that you know i and i i always reflect on this when i come back home because like i just talked to nick and like i love nick you know and you can tell like he looks up to me you know um and he says i know because he says it and i want to be a good example of him of for him but really the number one thing that i always try to show him since since Nick was, I mean, Nick used to come over and he just, that's so crazy, he just texted me right now. His phone, his number, just, his name just popped up on the Apple car, fucking car player, whatever the fuck. I remember Nick coming over this apartment uh, and I was just like ripping the bong, you know what I mean? And I would just put music on and he was always there for me, you know? Um, and he was always like, let's go to the gym. Like he always wanted to, like, he was like, it was crazy because Nick was someone that I taught how to train. And then when I broke up with my ex, I was so broken 
that he was actually the one that would show up here and be like keeping me consistent, asking me how my training is going, making sure we're getting to the gym. Like, and it just goes and shows a lot. It just says a lot about his character and the reason why we're still friends today, you know? Hmm. And, uh, It's just like, it's like everyone, all my good friends say, like, they knew, like, they always knew that I would, like, do something with social media or do something with, you know, my create, creative talents, you know sure. what I mean? Um, and it's just, it just means so much and it's so important to have those people in your life and, like, I'm so blessed, you know what I mean? It's crazy too because when I went through that breakup, that was such a hard time for me. And dude, it's crazy. The only thing that really got me out of that situation, what I felt like, where you feel like you want to kill yourself, but then you don't because you're like, okay, maybe I'll looking for my water maybe I'll live another day you know like the one thing that actually like kept me on this earth and kept me alive um, were my friends yeah it wasn't a girlfriend ever because now I look back and I actually just in real time, I'm also noticing, like I, I give too much credit to my ex-girlfriends for their impact on my life. But really, the people who have had the most impact on my life were my friends. Because mm. they're the ones who stuck with it. They've stuck with me through all of that shit regardless. Like that that's all encompassing. Right. Like they're the ones that they overpower all the romantic relationships that I've had because they've always been there for me. <laughs> I've had women, I've had women that I never, never thought, ever thought would turn their back on me, turn their back on me. Just like, wow. And I have- And who was there then? <laughs> and who was there? It was my, my boys, my homies were there, you know? Mm -hmm. So, listen, I don't know how long this video is, but this is definitely a good YouTube. Right now, you've been talking for eight minutes. Perfect. I'm out of here. Also, real quick, if, just super fast. If you want to, like, we can just like walk up to the thing over there and just like, just super quick. Nah, I don't want to. You want it? Someone's apartment. I kind of want to dip out soon. <laughs> okay, whatever. Plus, the people here are kind of sketchy. <laughs> this isn't really a good area. <laughs> um, Were you sketchy? Is what you trying to say? <laughs> I was gonna quote. Actually, I was gonna quote. Takashi 69 which is actually funny Perfect. because I know it's just like a funny thing but he did once say that he thinks the cure to depression is friends and I have to agree with him so appreciate you homie <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy